plaintiff, Robert Tiefenbacher, says he and the defendant worked together until the defendant mooned their manager and got fired. Robert claims over the course of a year, he loaned the defendant money 74 times, but he has yet to be repaid, so he's suing. Defendant Katherine Rayner admits that she struggled with an alcohol addiction, but says she's been sober for nearly 10 months. Katherine believes Robert's only suing her today because she refused to date him. Start with you. You know the expression, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? This case has fooled me 74 times and suddenly maybe I've become like the nicest guy in the world. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of tricking, Doc. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Um, from June 2020 to March 2021, I've lent her over $5,000. Um, met her about 10 years ago. We worked together. Um, we got along really great. We became good friends. We went out a couple times. Um, we used to party together. Uh, found out she got the name Crazy Katie um, from some of the things. And then in June of 2020, we were at a party. Uh, she happened to moon one of the managers that worked there and no longer work together. Um, <laughs> at, what? At, she so, sounds like a lot of fun. She, she was, she really was. Oh, good. Um, and then from June on, since she wasn't working, she started asking me if she could borrow some money and if I could lend her money. So it was $20 here. But prior to that, she wasn't? No, she wasn't. Okay, nope. good. And you all start hanging out together what year? Um, 2000 and. 10 maybe it might have been okay so you hung out with her for 10 years she was a friend for 10 years right. well during that time sir i'm so sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. during that time sir we also had been through many of times uh, vacations um children's christenings he was there for the birth of my child he um served not only as um a confidant to me i as himself so i do take a little offense to the names Katie, crazy Katie, even though it is kind of Well, funny. you might be crazy it Katie, is. but I'm just, in <laughs> was, terms of, no, I don't know about I, what like, I, You made a good point when you said, you, okay, you worked together once right. in 2012, but since then we formed a beautiful friendship within mm -hmm. those 12 years that I feel as though um, he's- And that's the point I'm making is that he referred to you as uh, conning him. Right. And I'm saying, right. uh, I was trying to get to the fact that if you've been friends for 10, 12 years, uh, don't consider it con. I know she'd have been conning you for 10 years, I promise. <laughs> uh -huh. If you'd have let some of the ladies in Detroit that I know get a hold of you, Doc, they'd have been getting you from day one, the nicer guys you sound. That's you'd right. have been broke. You didn't break him? You still got some money left? <laughs> See, she's not frauding you. She's a nice lady. You wouldn't have no money left <laughs> after you leave have... Detroit. I do Go have ahead, to say, nice I do guy have to like say. you. <laughs> what you need, baby? What you need? <laughs> I, just, I got 73 requests. Right. Okay. Right. We'll throw another 20 on it. You still got some money left? <laughs> See, she's not frauding you. She's a nice lady. You wouldn't have no money left <laughs> after you leave Detroit. What you need, baby? What you need? <laughs> I, this is, I got 73 requests. Right. Okay. Right. We'll throw another 20 on it. Plaintiff Robert Tiefenbacher says he loaned the defendant money 74 times and she never repaid him. But the defendant claims Robert's only suing her because she refused to date him. You characterize the friendship. You heard what he said. You all hung out, a lot of fun. You moon people, you do all types yeah, of stuff. Yeah, why was that? Well, the fact of the matter is, sir, that I did and still have struggled with um, an addiction with alcohol. I have um, proudly can say I have 10 months sober, Good. almost. Um, and, Ro and, and Robert did see me, you know, as we were partying, so to speak, um, that one night I did, you know, I have, they do say if you lose your job, you know, relationships with family and you know, other things important like that, you might have a struggle with alcohol. So I have lost jobs relationships with family and unfortunately some great friends and what the great part about this whole uh, experience is it did show me about what friendship meant and before I would have you know um, asked him for cigarettes because I was drinking or for money to drink or sneakers I didn't need or big trampolines that my son and I could but I would pay for those myself 
I wouldn't. Okay. Let I, me I allow him to get to the specifics. But I will say, you don't have to necessarily be an alcoholic to commit those type of pranks <laughs> or stuff like that or amuse people. You know, I'm known to amuse people. I don't pull my pants down quite. Uh, maybe at the house I have with my family. <laughs> I moon the family members. <laughs> but you know, uh, you're you not don't have to be alcoholic not, to Not amuse. the drinking key, not, not the sober key would ask. All right. Okay. Well, I'm sober. And I like to meet people you are, with sir. crazy Thank stuff. Thank you. I appreciate you and mm-hmm. follow and congratulate your success. Thank you. You're welcome. And you tell me what the loans are in emotional distress. You say um, 74, sir. Well, it's, one year. Yes. You have a list. I do have a list. You're not going to sit here and tell me about 74 instances. <laughs> Where is your list? What page? Uh, let's see. I have my list is right over here. And you better not come with that. Cigarette money, gas station. You better not come with that. Don't you start that. Lotto ticket. Lotto ticket. Yeah. Where's your page one right there? It's got all the unpaid loans. First thing I see. Yep. Well, one, two, three, three. The third thing, five dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One dollar. One dollar. Just like I asked. You. <laughs> Last one, five dollars. Another one, eight, six dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars, thirty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, thirteen dollars, forty dollars. How was it coming about, sir? Um, I mean, that's only the first page. The next page, ten dollars again, five dollars, uh, seventeen dollars. Uh, $50, $20, $20, $20, $20, $5, $10, 5 5 Each time you said you're going to pay me back, here's a dollar. You're going to pay me back? <laughs> Three months? Six weeks? Tell me how it went 74 times. Well, I had started lending her money. Um, she wasn't working and it was $20. I need something for my son or I need gas to go somewhere. Um, I need to buy food for my son. I need to buy clothes for my son. And I'm a single father. I knew she was a single mother, so I felt bad. Um, she kept telling me she was going to get tax money back, and she'd pay me with that. Um, or she'd start getting unemployment, and she'd start paying me with that kind Where of Where were you all when she asked you for $1? Uh, it was because I think her bank account was negative $1, and I needed it. And before she got charged any uh, penalties or anything like that, I gave her the dollar to make her balance zero. How about the... Twelve five dollar um, loans. C- cigarettes. How did they come about? Could be cigarettes, food. Cigarettes cost more than five dollars. Food. Um, I've quit. Gang, what can you get? What food can you get for five dollars? Fifteen times. Fifteen times. She only needed five dollars. And after each time, when did she say she would repay? When uh, the person borrows, they give you a repayment plan. When she got her tax money back. So she would say. When I get my taxes back every time, I'm going to give you that $1. When I get my taxes back, I'm going to give you the $5 that you're handing me. When I get my taxes back, I'm going to give you another 5 When I get my taxes back, I'm going to pay you $6. When I get my tax, in fact, you did it for an entire year, right? Almost yes. Plaintiff Robert Tiefenbacher says he loaned the defendant money 74 times, and she never repaid him. But the defendant claims Robert's only suing her because she refused to date him. And so what happened when tax time came? Well, when tax time Since came... she wanted to go for that game. When, when tax happened? time finally did end up coming, um, suddenly she didn't have the money. She wouldn't give it to me. She bought her kid a trampoline instead of paying me back with the money she promised me. And that's when I... Oh, can st- I interrupt? I'll let you. And that's when I started to get aggravated and realized she really wasn't going to pay me back and she had no intentions to. And that's, I, I didn't say I never had intentions to. That was what you said. What did you say? I said I didn't want to date you and be okay. in a relationship with you. Yeah, we were discussing the money, though. Yeah. yeah. As we were just talking about. That's how the whole. All right. You this is where this all started. I'm sure the drinking didn't help a situation, but I didn't want to be sober in a relationship with him either. Okay. But you interrupted me while we were talking about the money. Right. I thought you were interrupting to talk about the subject at hand. Well, I meant to say that the lawsuit didn't come about until I didn't want to be with him. 
Okay, well, let me ask about all the instances, the 15 instances for $5 and all these other instances. Was there a running tab? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yes, I had a running Did tab. you agree to a running tab? Every time he gave you a dollar, add that on to the $2? I think that the Venmo itself turned into like a waterfall of just, can I, can I, can you I? You owe him all this money, ma'am? I, I mean, I, I sober, I said yes. I said yes to Rob a week before we got contacted from this lawsuit. I said, I want to pay you back every penny for what, you know, I wouldn't want him to have to pay for Good. my- $3,975 is the judgment. She admits that she told you she'd pay you back every dime. Good, glad she's honest. Have a good day. I'd like to say, you know, I'm really upset that you kind of ruined a friendship. We were- I didn't ruin the friendship. You were supposed to pay me back and you never- That's because I was drinking. Uh, I, I know you're not now, so that means you're gonna have to start paying me back and we can become friends again and we can build a friendship up again. I would love to be your friend again. We had so much, we have so many memories. There's so many times of where I just can't be without like- We do and I didn't want money to get in the way of this. And unfortunately, this is why friends don't let friends money because these are things that happen. And I'd like well, to- Well, no, I just- I think if the circumstances were different, I, would, I wouldn't have to ask you for money. Well, hopefully <laughs> things are better now and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Right.